right now we go to Louisville <laughs> because it's a time for Louisville and Kentucky getting together on the baseball field. It's always oh, important. Man. Vince Tyree joins us. Vince, good morning. How are we doing? I'm doing great. Doing great. Good to see you guys. Likewise, yeah. uh, it, it doesn't seem to matter what the sport, right? Louisville and Kentucky, it's go time. Yeah, it could be cornhole. It doesn't matter. You know, tonight, you know, it's obviously <laughs> we got we got them tonight and uh, baseball tomorrow night and softball. And, uh, you know, we're we're obviously looking forward to it. It's a it's a great midweek matchup. We got them. We only have three non-conference games left, two with Kentucky and one with Vanderbilt. And that's that's a tall order in itself. All right, uh, I'm l- looking behind you there in the uh, in the old bookshelf. Looks like you're gonna have to clear some shelf space for for more trophies. Uh, volleyball over the weekend. You got swimming and diving. I mean, you've had a pretty good winter in a year when uh, when things have kind of been different. Yeah, no, it's gone well with uh, you know women's basketball had a great run and then with and won the regular season ACC. Then obviously men's swimming came back and won the ACC and. Uh, volleyball over the weekend wins the ACC, and um, yeah, we've had some individual champions and NCAA champions. It's been a, uh, it's been a lot of fun. You know, we we've, we've got a lot of sports performing well, field hockey, lacrosse ranked. Um, yeah, it's it's going well right now. Vince, does it feel? And I just did a whole dissertation last hour about everybody who participated with men's and women's basketball. Tip of the hat uh, for the players, coaches. Mm-hmm administrators, yeah. medical folks. I mean, it was amazing. We got a season in, uh, which culminated last night with Baylor cutting down the nets on the men's side and Stanford on Sunday with the ladies. But does it feel like he could see light at the end of the tunnel, given how crazy the last 13 months have been? I think so. I think we're seeing the, you know, the vaccines are, are uh, more prevalent now. They're certainly going to be here on campus. Mm-hmm. You know, our faculty and staff at the end of this week will be uh, vaccinated and, um, you know, we're hopeful to move through the student body as well. Um, you know, yesterday was a big announcement here uh, in Kentucky with the Derby announcing tickets will be sold for the infield. So I think that's a positive sign to people that things are going in the right direction. So and then, I, you know, I <laughs> obviously I, I saw the Texas Rangers have about 40,000 in their stadium <laughs> for their opening game. It's it almost looks weird. <laughs> uh, it did. Did it? Yeah. I thought the same exact thing. I saw that yesterday. I was like. I rub my eyes like, wow. I mean, people in the stands, what a unique concept. we got to get used to that again, but I can't yeah. wait. I think we all are ready to kind of get back to whatever the new normal is going to look like and feel like. Yeah. Yeah, no, I, I agree with that. I mean, it's, you know, turning on, just seeing like the highlights of that game, uh, they weren't cutouts. Those were people moving around. Um, that's what mm-hmm. we're used to seeing. We watched the game last night as all the cardboard cutouts, but you know, the fans are anxious. I know everybody's starting their campaigns for the fall for, you know, football season ticket holders renewing. And, and and I think that's going to be the common theme you're going to see with all of us is just, uh, you know, get back in there. Let's enjoy the experience. We all missed each other. And I know people enjoy getting together and it's a, it's a great opportunity, whether it be professional sports or, uh, or, uh, college sports. I think everybody's looking to get together and, 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 uh, you know, celebrate the end of the, the uh, COVID as much as celebrate the end of uh, the, uh, you know, the, I'll say the end of COVID and the beginning of getting back together. Yeah. Sorry, get a little something. Vince, there. when we talk, that's all right. That's, uh, I deal with it too on a daily basis. Um, the yeah, idea the of, uh, the, <laughs> the idea of, of going back to normal. And we spent so much time a year ago talking about the business of college athletics. How important are some of those conversations going to be this year leading up to to the next athletic season amongst athletic directors, you think? Well, I think just, you know, we our business model is around live events. And I just think that the lack of them is what we spent a lot of time talking about and the impact it had on the financials of all these uh, athletic departments and, you know, pro, you know mm-hmm. professional and college, but, you know, just selfishly to us. And how we all had to mitigate it. And I, you know, I think we did everything we could to, you know, still have a terrific student athlete experience, you know, make sure that any cuts we had to make, you know, were, you know, you know, let them be uh, where they're out of sight, where they just didn't feel it. And I think the excitement is, is that what else we can do coming into this fall, you know, with full resources, should we have live events and our football season back on, which is a big revenue producer for all of us to support many of these other sports. And then, 
obviously going right into the winter with basketball, it's uh, it really gives you optimism to think about your budget. I think people will be inching them up more than what they anticipated, even going back 30 days. Vince, you, you mentioned uh, fall and football and everybody getting together and, of course, tailgating and everybody having a good time in the Commonwealth. It's never been an issue uh, because folks know how to do it right, especially when it comes to one ice cube and some brown water, which you guys have mastered. Um, we know that well. You know, <laughs> you, 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 have, you have cornered the market, which is a beautiful thing. But when it comes to season tickets and projecting for the fall, what can you tell us about at least the game plan at Louisville moving forward? Yeah, I think we've done a lot of sensitivity around that. I think that, um, you know, I, I still think you're always going to have your your diehard fans. I think we have a good sense of how long you're going to – well, let me just step back and say, I think you're going to run more analytics than you ever did. I think you're going to look at how long a season mm-hmm. ticket holder they've been. I think if there's other uh, – any data you can pull out of there, did they want to renew last year? Did they take a, a refund towards this coming year versus a uh, donation? Um yeah, is there any intel we have from our uh, ticket selling staff as well as our fundraising staff? Um, you know, premium suites, club seats, all those things. We're going to go literally section by section and try to get all the analytics and in- intel we can to build it up. But you know, I'm hopeful that we're talking about you know, hey, we got full capacity, and then just maybe the human nature aspect of it. Of some tale of this is that. You know, maybe it is only going to be seventy-five or eighty percent of what you you thought before. I, I don't. We're not planning on going a hundred percent full out. I know some are, uh, in terms of even if they have a hundred percent capacity. But I think we're going to taper it off a bit. We think the premium seats will sell really well. We just think there's going to be um, some hesitation in some of the season ticket holders where we need to uh, be a little more conservative going in. There's also the mechanics of the games themselves. And last year was different because, you know, we tried to get the conference games and in, in football in particular, tried to get the conference games and then a, a, a non-conference game here or there. Uh, you were one of a handful of schools in the ACC that missed their year-end rivalry. One, you're playing tonight in baseball. Um, how important is getting that back to normal for you, for Mitch Barnhart, for Todd Stansberry, for for Florida, Florida State, for Clemson, South Carolina, Vince. Well, I think it's really important. It's it's obviously uh, it is a big thing in the state. You know, we're all about competition in sports, and you know, rivalries are what we celebrate. Um, that's why we have rivalry rivalry week and things like that. But you mm-hmm. know, this game in particular for us against Kentucky is a big one. Um, you know, their programs improved a great deal in football, so it's even made it even more intense. Uh, the last few years and uh, our fans, they did miss it. And uh, unfortunately, when we played them two years ago, we, you know, we weren't at our best. We had a 11 starters go down with the flu on IVs and it turned into be a mess. So I can tell you our, our players are anxious to get back out there and play that game because they feel like they missed a chance last year to redeem themselves. By the way, you, you do know at some point in time, uh, assuming we're still employed here, that we're, we've got to take this show to the Derby. Uh, and, oh, and no man. reason you shouldn't. I, I mean, right. I mean, I, I've never been. It's on my bucket <laughs> list. Uh, I don't need an excuse to have a good time, especially up there. Um, at some point in time, though, Vince, we have got to make that happen. I, this year's not going to make a whole lot of sense because we're all still you know, dealing with it. But I got to figure if we can still hang around till 22, we have got to take Packer and Durham <laughs> oh. to the Churchill Downs and make it a University of Louisville showcase show. I, I can't imagine that being impossible to pull off. It's too good of an idea to yeah. tie in University of Louisville, <laughs> the Derby, and Packer and Durham on ACC Network. A no brainer. Plus, we've got all the. Listen, how many Louisville stars do we have on ACC Network? Goodness gracious. I know. Be Katie phenomenal. and Eric, they'll be right there with you. Yeah. Hancock. We'd throw them all in there. Yeah, Luke. Luke yeah. would love to do it, yeah. I'm sure. We got it all. You'd be a co-host yeah. all week. That'd never be an issue. Yeah. Well, there we go. I'll be there with you. Uh, Good luck tonight against the Wildcats. Tell Mac yep. uh, we said hello and uh, look forward to seeing the Cards and Cats tonight at 6 o'clock here on ACC Network. And always appreciate your time, my man.